Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Patty Boyd makeup tutorial. This tutorial is based on a column published in September 1965 in the beauty magazine 16. And Patty Boyd had a regular column in this magazine and it was entitled Patty Boyd's Beauty Box. And the first article she began was a 1960s makeup look and this was focused on her eyes. So I'm gonna go in and basically follow her tutorial for the eyes. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, beauty, and fashion. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. I also started a new Instagram account, Dahlia's in the Attic, and I linked that below. All right, let's jump right in with my Patty Boyd inspired makeup tutorial. So this is all based on her column in 16 magazine. So I'm going on what she says she does for her, the order of her eye makeup tutorial. I personally don't do eyeliner first, but I'm gonna go with it because this is how she does it. So she uses a cake eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Vintage Doll Cosmetics liquid eyeliner because I find it easier than cake. Um, and she definitely has a 1960s cat eye, so I'm definitely gonna go right in and start with the cat eye because that's what she does for hers. Um, her wing is not the biggest, wing but she definitely has a little bit of a 60s cat eye wing so I'm going to start with the left eye and then go on to the right eye with the stamp and then I'm just going to go in and fill it in So now that the cat eye is done, I'm going to go in with the eyeshadow. She likes browns and bluish gray shadows, so I'm going to start with Vintage Doll Cosmetics Brown Shade. This is a really good neutral brown, and it's the Sophia, and I quite like this one. I think it just works really well. So she goes in and recommends just doing kind of the eyelid crease, and she goes from the inside eye and all the way to the side to create that look. So I'm just gonna go in, I have a fine tipped angle brush, so also I wanna show how you can see she doesn't really have that much makeup on, but she really emphasizes the crease. So I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow besides the brown, and then I might go in with a bit of gray or blue after. I'm just gonna see how it goes. But this is kind of the start of it right now. Go in with the brown to start. And I'm basically just going in the crease of my eye. And you can see it's definitely adding depth to my eye. And because this brown isn't too dark, it's pretty easy to blend. I actually quite like how it looks as you can see it definitely you can see how it opens up my eye and then you can see the contrast between my eyelid and the crease and because the brown is quite neutral it's not too dark I think I might try going in with a little bit of the grace silver because it is it's kind of a bluish gray silver color so I'm going to go over top of the brown with that just add that extra layer of depth 1960s has really become one of my favorite looks as of now. I just think it's the most fun because there's so much you can do with the colors. Yeah, as you can see, those are the two eyeshadow colors. So I started with the brown and then I went over top with the gray and it definitely makes your eyes pop. And to finish off the look, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of shimmer on top. She didn't do that, but I just wanna add a bit more glam. So I'm just going to go over it with a brush and use the Marilyn. I really like the Marilyn color. I'm just going to do a very light dusting of the Marilyn, just kind of on my brow bone to emphasize things a bit more. So I'm going to go in with the Marilyn color and just, just do a little bit. But it's definitely not necessary. Maybe this Marilyn is better for like a nighttime look. But just a tiny bit on the brow bone. And that is pretty much it. And then I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of mascara as well. Just to finish the look, um, based on her tutorial, she doesn't use false eyelashes. She likes to put mascara on the top lash and the bottom lash. So this is kind of her go-to 
everyday makeup look, perhaps for special occasions and nighttime looks and events, she used false eyelashes, but based on her column in the magazine, she did not. So I'm just gonna go over it with a little bit of mascara on both top lashes. And then she also recommends doing the bottom lashes just to give that baby doll look. And then she also had a baby pink lip, like a nude. So I'm just gonna go in quickly with the Elizabeth Arden a baby pink shade. And this is a really nice kind of classic baby pink color to kind of finish off that 1960s look. I actually use this shade in my Jackie Kennedy video because Jackie Kennedy loved Elizabeth Arden. So that is it for my Patty Boyd makeup tutorial. This is kind of her classic everyday look. It's super easy to do. She starts with the eyeliner, then she just basically goes in with a dark brown on the crease of her eye and it brings it from the middle all the way to the end and then I went in with silver just to kind of make it pop and because she likes silver blues and then she just has a pale pink lip. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you want me to continue on with the series because she has a full face makeup tutorial as well as a hair tutorial. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!